This video will teach you how to multiply decimals using a method called partial products. Partial products allows you to break a decimal into its whole number and decimal part and then multiply the parts to find the full product. Let's take a look at 9 tenths times 3 and 2 tenths. First, you need to set up a diagram as I have below. We are going to first start with the number 9 tenths and separate it into its whole number and decimal parts. The whole number is 0 because there is no whole number in this number. The decimal portion is 9 tenths. We write it with the 0 and the decimal because if you just wrote 9, you would forget what place value you were talking about. Next, let's look at the number 3 and 2 tenths. When we break up 3 and 2 tenths into its whole and decimal, we put the number, the whole number first, 3, and then we put our decimal, 2 tenths. Again, don't just write 2, make sure you have 0 and 2 tenths written as a decimal point, so that way you can remember what place value you're working with. Now it's time for us to multiply. First, I want you to multiply the 3 and the 0. The 3 and the 0 meet together in this box. So it's an easy equation, 3 times 0 equals 0. We've filled in our number for this box. Now we need to multiply the 3 by the decimal 9 tenths, which meets in this box. When we do 3 times 9 tenths, we use our math fact, 9 times 3 is 27, because there is one place after the decimal, we scoop our decimal over 1, and our answer is 2 and 7 tenths. Next, we are multiplying in this box 2 tenths by 0, and when we do 2 tenths times 0, we very simply get 0. Finally, we multiply our last two decimals together, 2 tenths times 9 tenths. If we know our fact, 2 times 9 is 18. Then we look at the place values after the decimal. Since we have two place values after the decimal, we scoop the decimal over twice to get an answer of 18 hundredths. We officially have our four partial products, 0, 2 and 7 tenths, 0, and 18 hundredths. To find our final answer for our original problem, 9 tenths times 3 and 2 tenths, all we have to do is add up these products. As you can see, I have lined up my decimal points, and if I would like, I can put in some phantom ghost zeros to hold the places. When I do my final adding, I get 2 and 88 hundredths. I'm not done yet. I have my answer 2 and 88 hundredths. Now I need to check. If I do some rounding, I know that 9 tenths is equal to about 1 whole. I know that 3 and 2 tenths is equal to about 3 whole. When I multiply 1 times 3, I get 3. If I take a look at my two answers, my original answer and my estimated answer, I can see that they're very, very close to each other, showing me that my answer of 2 and 88 hundredths is correct. This is how you multiply decimals using the partial products method.